Oh. Yeah, well, we do we do have a couple of people in uh, in guild that we actually like make make their make them put put their TS and push the talk because they always like breathe into the mic and basically you spent the entire raid listening to Darth Vader and it's just not very pleasant. You remember Kyle, right, from Geeks United? Yes. Mm -hmm. He used to do that. I kept telling him, Kyle, stop being Darth Vader, because you would hear the no. <sighs> all the time. And um, Elliot. Elliot did that too. Yes, he did that too. Right. Damn. I know someone else who breathes like Darth Vader. <laughs> Eli from AOD. Her intro. <laughs> I actually, in, in my latest, uh, in, in one of the responses I did to them, where it was like addressing accusations, I actually brought that bit up because Eli kept claiming, and the entire AOD kept claiming, that I was going to re reveal some of Eli's private secrets to the entirety of YouTube, and I had threatened that I would do that. You'd think with everything they did to me by now, I would have done that? But I didn't. So, uh, in that video, I was like, oh, yeah, and that secret you want nobody to know about? I'm finally going to reveal it. And then I play her intro cl clip, where it does sound like Darth Vader breathing, right? And then right afterwards, the scene where, where Darth Vader says, I am your father. <laughs> and after we're like, damn, I did it. Hmm. <coughs> uh, with, with some of the crap, crap they pulled, it's like... Yeah. They fucking deserve everything that's coming to them by now. You know, normally, normally I'm against troll accounts. And normally I don't support yeah. troll accounts. But whoever these trolls yeah, are that are now you're gonna fucking say with them, you know. Yeah. yeah, whoever these trolls are that are Yay. now fucking with them, fucking kudos. I'll support them all the fucking way if I have to, because I am so pissed off at these fuckers for messing with my family by now. That uh, yeah, they deserve oh, everything. Oh, it, it, that's it pissed off Sean to no end as well. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't want to tell him. I'd like to say, I'd like to say, let's hope Sean doesn't find out their addresses because if there's one thing you don't mess with, it's, it's, it's his kids. Yeah, I know. I know there would be some people in serious fucking trouble if he knew where they live. And he was, I know where some of them live. I won't tell Sean because I know what's going to happen. I don't want Sean to go to jail. <laughs> no, no, I'd rather not. No. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's <laughs> these people are just so fucking retarded. I still wonder why the fuck Smiling Skeptic is so deep into it with them. I mean, what the fuck does he get from Eli, you know? I know she shows her bare ass on cam to other people, but did she show it to him as well? Is that what he's I after? Know, maybe. Eli pussy. Yeah. There is much, much easier it. ways to see pussy. Oh, that might be a too truth friction with her, with her. I'm such a belly dancer. Look at me wiggle my shit. Um. Yeah, well, they're both pretty yuck. Yeah, I, I love that first unlisted video she did about me, where she she lays in bed, you know, and he, it's dark, and I'm, in, I'm wearing my chammy. 
Now I'm in bed. Yeah, like that's supposed to be sexy. Yeah, something like that. And then she talks all kinds of shit about my sex life. Like, okay, well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> so, so my, my finally, I mean, in, in a way, I, I at some point told people, well, if you don't know anything about me, you can come to me and ask me, or you can get the really cool and interesting version from AOD. <laughs> because they spiced up my sex life quite a bit. Was you like, yeah. I mean, I know I shag a lot, but that was pretty epic. Okay, so I'm I'm apparently this man devouring oh, this vamp. Oh, I I she says I rape shamed her. Okay, that's the very interesting thing. Okay, let's see how how did I rape shame rape shame. Miss Pure Fiction. Um, she has a nickname. Not her real name, but a nickname, right? That a lot of people know her by. That she used on Vlog TV, on Skype, on all kinds of different places. I've seen people call her that even on YouTube before, right? And she never had an issue yeah. with me addressing her by that name before. Now, the moment I left AOD... Hello, Master Tina. The moment I left AOD, I, it, it was basically, they tried to find shit on me, right? And they made a fuckload of videos, and on some I commented. And in that particular comment section, oh, that is lovely. Well, anyway, in that particular comment section, I basically said her nickname please think about what you're saying, or something like that. So I addressed her by the nickname I had always called her by. Now remember, not her legal first or last name, just her nickname. And she turned it into, because of me addressing her by her nickname, in a comment section, she had to tell her family that she had gotten raped. Right? Because it apparently oh, put her really? privacy on the line, so she had to tell her family that she had gotten raped. Never mind the fact that a couple months before that, she made a YouTube video telling people in detail about her sexual assault as a response to Varia Blast, right? So, I mean, it's like, so her family can find her through the nickname, but not through her face that she shows in videos when she talks about having been raped. So that's very interesting. Anyway, she turned yeah, that's, it into that, that's interesting. blaming me that she had to tell her family about having been raped. Yes, she did. Well, that wasn't the end of it, though. Radon made a video while doing the dishes, right? Basically asking her, okay, tell me one thing. How or why did you have to tell your family about having been raped based on anything Felida did? Right? And I posted in the comment section, I love it when, the, when a man does dishes. And that's when they turned around and said, Radon was rape shaming her because he asked her about her rape. And Felida is rape shaming her because she agrees with him. The only thing I said is I love it when a man does dishes. The only thing he did is ask her how did you have to, or why did you have to tell your family about having been raped based on anything Felida did? Legitimate question, you know. That makes my head hurt. And then. A right Logic. after that, they Making popped up with a shitload of videos claiming that Radon and I had been rape-shaming Miss Pure Fiction. So I'm like, boo, you know, total boo. First of all, if you don't want your family to find out about something, don't show your face on camera and talk about it. Because I'm fairly generally, sure that your entire family generally knows generally exactly speaking. what your mug looks like. I mean, generally speaking, if you don't want people, if you really don't want people to find out about something, just generally don't put it on the internet. 
Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's a very, very simple rule. If you don't want people to find out about something, don't put it on the fucking internet. Yeah, well, uh, Dark Firebrand, that's the fun part about, the, uh, about it, though. She was terrified of her family finding her. Yet she makes YouTube videos with her face in it, and when I call her by a nickname that everyone else called her by, that's what's going to make her family find her? A nickname that's actually a very, very common name, by the way. You know, uh, how? If I'm so scared of my family finding me, I won't show my face on camera. That's like, no. face recognition. It works, bitches. You know? 